Hi everyone, welcome to this design. Today we are going to be improving this design and we're going to turn it into something different. So let's see if we nailed it or we failed it. <laughs> Just forget it, right? So, so let's get straight into it. Um, I will draw my background for the first, for us first. I love the color combinations. I love how they were used, um, the color choices and how they were combined. I love how that was made. So let's see how we can use this color palette or use this color combination to create our own design but i would prefer to let a dominant color be something gray or yeah a gray or ash i think it's gray yeah instead um we'll lock this i do not want to play with that lock it is control two that's the number two on your keyboard and then i got this image from just on the internet you could um, check any of the you can check freepix.com and you get it from that place that could also work there so um i noticed something about this design it's not the structure basically there's not like a structure to um allow all the elements or allow the assets on the design to breathe so i am seeing how i can just use that uh create a structure create a structure then i see how i can use all the elements and the play out and let's see so let me use my pencil to to see if i could draw something in my head like this like this so give it a stroke good so something like this like this then i could place this here i'll place this here and i'll have my text here i know how to rest my details at this place so so i think that's that actually makes sense so let's draw a rectangle here. Um, take a stroke down. We'll be using our eyedropper tool here to pick the color here. Bring it to. Now this is behind, but we want to take it to the top. So there are different ways you could right click on it and you could go to arrange and you see bring to front, or you could use the shortcut control shift close bracket. Closed. The coily bracket, yes, closed coily bracket, and now it's in the front. So we we'll place this here, scale it down a little bit. Uh, if you want, you can rotate it. Yeah, select two and take them slightly to the right. I'll be using one of my fonts, favorite font, Satoshi. So, what did you write there? Graphic size, graphic designs. Okay, designing instead. Go here down, click, open, make it bigger. Satoshi, I think I pronounced it well. Satoshi. So graphic designing, and this is where we'll be using our own colors. The combination of it, and I see graphic designing. Now, now if you actually check here there is no like concise or, or, or precise way of how the colors or, or the font sizes were used they are just used randomly depending on how you want it so i'm using 72 for the main one here and i want to use something that will be relatively small compared to it so we could use this font size um this font size yes instead and then um, change our text to black and so we say four a four sorry a four double price and also the thickness we could make it regular this this and we'll scale it up a little bit if you want to scale them so you know there's a proportion or there's a ratio to how the big one is compared to how the small one is so like so just establish that ratio already which is um already we have established that this is uh the big one is 72 while the small one is 36 so you know what proportion or what ratio they are to each other so that will actually work for you when you, you are kind of confused on how you want to go about um combining font sizes we could draw a line here and uh, increase the stroke and so basically we're just picking from 
the design they already established we have a logo here but i do not i'm not like I, I do not want to bring probably the person who designed it out and also the details are also here but i'm just covering those so uh we'll be on the safe side so we have flyer logo um have all those ones there you could also use the same font size so you could see flyers uh flyers down logo down very flyers still flyers so you could just skip that wedding flyers burial flyers occasional flyer and so we have election flyer business flyer so we have just flyers and logos that are our main or the business so we could say flyers logos we could just say um other design related or other design related no no we just, we just say other designs and or or just it's just procures or magazines yeah so something like that and we could use our bulletin or numbering so at least we know we have points yeah we have points on those ones uh now the rest is just very simple so I, i'm not yet done with the background i'll come back to that but i'm just trying to establish a structure of what the idea i do have in my head and how we could see you could see how you could simplify your designs to a minimum and still establish the main purpose of communicating what you have the idea that you have to the target audience that you, you are intending to tag, um, reach out to so in this case we still also go to the contact us instead of that we go contact us but we don't want it in bullet form contact us then we have our contact details probably we will have all our let me pick from yesterday's designs or from the previous design i do have let's hide that i uh, will pick this this and this hold on all to drag to the top and that will copy yeah this is it so we have that and we could see contact us here contact us here contact us here um, let's just use our own brand instead to say we designs oh put a letter and there's an at copy copy bring down and uh yeah click and drop there so this and this come down let's balance that this and this down a little bit balance this and this balance so we have that well i think they are too big for us to manage so let's make that proportional to no, no, proportional good um you could you could see the distance between them it's too it's too much balance there balance there and balance there so you could group them if you want to group group and come down come up i have them Together, you can bring them down because that's the last part of the design. And for here, we could accelerate because uh, one of the reasons why I would prefer to put it here as this text at this place and rather than just having it on the other side is because it should um, fit such of a balance a little bit. Although I'm having like a, a balance where text is one side and um, images are actually on one side but i just want to see how I could just throw a little bit of text there and, and there's a little bit of icons on the other side too so we could say accelerate your online presence and close it there I like that good so we have this now i wanted to do a little bit of touch from the background i did a little bit um design today and i want to apply such effect towards a lens so what i do i drew a an ellipse shape 
I remove the fill, increase the stroke to about this size, a hundred. Yeah. Now I'll be using the width tool. You can find it here. In case you can't find it, you go here, essential classic. Have the width tool, and then we we'll come here and we reduce this part. So we have such like kind of like an ellipse. Like an ellipse, you understand? Like for when the moon is blocked by the sun, or the sun is blocked by the moon instead. And then, then we have this here. We rotate it. We could choose our rotation to here and come to this part, this anchor. And you hold on Alt and you click, and it gives you a prompt. So you could say at 45 degrees, which is considerably good, not good. Let's copy. Okay, we duplicate it some more. And um, I think you have something like this. And select group them, group them, come here and change them so they become fill. So now they are now fill not strokes. And we could use that to create some blends. Let's see, go behind here. Uh, let's choose the one of the colors, one of our popping colors here. And we create this with Ctrl C, Ctrl F, which is create um copy and paste in front. Let's bring it to the front and ensure two of them are selected and create a clipping mask. Send that to the back for us, please. Yep, so that's good. Um, we also change the appearance to probably let's see, I'm trying to work with the color with multiplying up screen. I think screen is better, but we have to reduce your opacity so it doesn't take most of our. And we could also bring this guy here and um, bring it here, kind of. I want it to be like this. Okay, so reduce the opacity to this amount. We drop it down. Yeah, and that's. I don't want it to be too shouty. To about five. And I think this is good. So you know, this you could try different background. You see, probably this background doesn't sit well with it. So you could try something different. But I am just showing you a cool technique, which you could apply, probably for your next design. Place it anyway. I think this is much better for me. So. Before and after, before and after. Let's see, uh, let's scale this up a little bit. I want it to be here. Good. So now you could have your logo here. Let's just have something. Uh, one, two, three. So we have that as our logo, but I think it's not sitting now. Okay. Select uh, the select. Group, group it, zoom in, scale it down. And like that, then we could just type in logo. And then uh, we did that. Good. So what do you think about this? We have our before here and our after here. So when you're done with your design, and probably you are worried that um, some of the stuff will be shown outside, but do not worry. You could just come to view. You could, I'm um, sorry, come to view. You come to trim to see how it looks inside. Let's bring this front. So you see how it looks when it's been cropped from inside. So this is the video. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in a next one. Thank you.